Packers. They have not been impressed by Tion's fastball. You've got to be impressed by these statistics that Alan Roth has come up and his success. But they really have not seen Tion's fastball like the one he had against Oakland in the championship series. I tell you, he's been a different pitcher. And he strikes out. That's control for you. Next one after it. And Louis Tion strikes out Vince to retire the side. Gary Nolan who has made five previous World Series starts, his record 0-2 in World Series play. He started the third game of the series, pitched four innings, allowed a run on three hits. Three balls and one strike to Yastrzemski. And a base hit. Solid single to right field. And we get an idea how the ball is uh, rolling and moving in the outfield. Looked like it slowed up too much. Back-to-back single by Yastrzemski and Fitz with two out of the Red Sox bottom of the first inning. And there's a high fly ball deep to right field. Going back, Griffey, forget it. It's gone. And this place is rocking. Deep to center field, going back to Geronimo on the warning track, makes the catch. Petroselli hit that ball hard. Three runs, the big ball, Fred Lynn's home run. After an inning, it's three to nothing. The 2-2 pitch to Perez. Oh, there it was. That's how he got him two times in game number one. Two strikes, the count to Concepcion. And he fly ball center field. Fred Lynn has the play there. And the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Reds. He's really stolen that spotlight. Again, the one-two pitch. Curveball, he's out of there. First strikeout for Gary Nolan as Evans is called out. Tion, there it is. And there's call strike three. Well, Gary Nolan settled down in the second inning. Strikes out two of the three batters he faced. Again, the one-two. And Geronimo swings and misses. Looks like the Red winning team, but... Win two in the World Series and maybe three. Here's the let up pitch and Rose lines it to center field. That'll be a base hit. And the first hit of the game for the Reds. So Rose now with his seventh hit of the series. I think I did an interview with uh, Luis Tiant for the Today Show. And a bouncing ball off the glove of Tiant. Doyle makes the play to retire the side. Quite the series, it seems. I tell you, boy, you've seen some statements. Uh, Billingham had one. Bill Lee, of course, has been dominating the papers here. He just thinks that, uh, that he should be pitching regardless. And there's a base hit down the right field line into the corner. And the ball gets away a bit from Griffey. Doyle will hold it second with a double. Denny Doyle, with his first double of the series, has a triple already. And now he has seven hits. A one-out double by Denny Doyle. But Freddie, when he stroke his right, likes to go a little bit more the opposite way on left-handed pitchers. He uses the whole field. From... Off the fist, pop-up, Cooper almost lost his footing, but in foul territory, makes the catch, and the side is retired. There was a hit. The Reds lead two. <laughs> the 2-2 pitch to Evans. That's out to right field. Griffey really has to run for this one. Won't get it, and it's into the stands for a ground rule double. Well, Evans just went with a pitch to the opposite field, and that'll be the second double of the game for the Red Sox, and they're... Let's see. It's like it's going to dry by the time you get back to the rubber. <laughs> and Joe Morgan charges this one, will make the play, and the Red Sox do not score. Billingham pitches out of it. He loses him, and Armbruster draws a walk. That's the second base on balls given up by Tion. Again, Armbruster on the move, and Rose lines a base hit to center field. Armbruster will try to go to third, and Lynn will throw to second. Freddie got the ball caught in the webbing of his glove. Armbruster started to slow down around second base, and then he decided to challenge Freddie Lynn's arm. I think he might have surprised Freddie. And a fly ball deep to center field. Lynn going way back, way back, and he can't make oh. the play. It's off the wall. Evans will recover, and Lynn is not up. He has been shaken up. One run comes in. Here comes Rose with the second run, and Freddie Lynn is hurt. 
in the corner in the dead center field. He must have hit his head against that wall, and he is... Fooled. Check swing. Nice bouncing ball of Concepcion, a force out. That ends the inning at the end of five. We're all tied one, up. 1-1 one pitch to Pete Rose. Up the middle. One hand grab. Steps on the back. Makes the play. So Carlson comes back. Ends the inning. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. We're all Cross trying to throw strikes. We'll find out who the et cetera's are, but 8 to 10 is Friday. I'll tell you, he's going to have some. Here comes Rose. Run it off the plate. Foul ball. Strike three. Buck will be there, and then it'll be football. Here's Griffey. Base hit. Right field. Griffey continues to hit a hot, uh, swing a hot bat. Say, he's been something. Now he's... Line drive, left field, base hit. Griffey is rounding second, and he's going to hold. Yastrzemski fires it right back in. First and second, nobody out. And Johnny Bench is the batter. That was there he goes. Straight away center field. Lynn is going back, back, back. That ball is off the wall. One run is in. Here comes Morgan. He'll score. And the Cincinnati Reds lead 5-3. to three. Ball hit high off the top of the wall. A double for George Foster. 5-3 to three, Cincinnati leading. Hot smash. Burleson's going to have a long throw. There it is. He makes it. Beautiful throw. That ends the inning, but Cincinnati scoring two runs. Bottom of the seven, 5-3, Cincinnati. That is throw strikes. Bouncing ball, Concepcion, one hand grab. So it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Red Sox. Double check there because that's really been what's been happening with the pitcher. Well hit right field, that ball. If it's fair, she's gone. It is a fair ball. Home run for Geronimo. Geronimo. A off his leg, Barbone challenging it, but he can't make a play. Lynn, a single. Tremendous effort by Barbone. And you saw Beth jump out. Hi, Barbone Watson. I run at the plate right now. Evans, who's been a big hitter. Barbone. This lead is maintained by Cincinnati if Eastwick holds them. The series will be over. The Cincinnati Reds will be world's champions the first time since 19... Center field, way back, way back. We're tied up. this ball game a brand new ball game this crowd has been up and down like a yo-yo all night long just playing on the emotions we go to the top of the 10th 6-6 Drago is the pitcher he'll be <laughs> off the handle maybe playable Yastrzemski in foul territory makes the play three up three down we go to the bottom of the ninth all oh, here it comes all four Johnny Bench wanted that one A little bit of... Right field, base hit. Griffey, up with it. Doyle hits the third. He's there. The fifth relief pitcher used by Sparky Anderson. A hit by Lynn, a walk to Petroselli. They made a change. On came Eastwick. He got Evans on strikes. Burleson flies. High fly ball, left field. Foster's got a shot. They're tagging up at third. Here comes the throw. It is in time. Doyle is out. Foster to bench. A double play. There goes Fisk. Swung on a bouncing ball. He throws, has it. The throw to first. In time. And now we go into extra. Bouncing ball, and that's in the center field, a base hit. So Tony Perez has his second hit of the game, and the 13th hit for the Reds. 
This sets up inside, and there's a ball hit out to left field. It's a base hit. Fisk was setting up inside. I was off the fist. Carbo, as you mentioned before, is playing a team. Bretton Monk. Uh, uh, Plummer. In there, call strike three. Right down the pipe, and Wise strikes out Geronimo. There were two hits. The Reds lead two. We go to the bottom of the 12th of a 6-6 game. There it goes, a long drive. If it stays fair, home run. 